Peace be unto you, sisters. Thank you so much for watching my video. I wanted to spend some time talking with you today about being able to get our ability to reason back and getting stronger in our emotions and in our minds after we have been subjected to sexual assault trauma. This trauma manifests in so many different ways and there are so many different events that can trigger these memories and cause us to seemingly fall apart or to end up having harder days than are necessary. And I know how difficult it is to walk that walk. I've walked it myself and I have been working for years to help women to restore from that. And I wanted to open it up a little bit more. I do primarily one-on-one -on -one sessions with women in our restoration after rape trauma. But in this particular class, we're going to be, I'm going to be sharing with you all and we're going to be putting into practice practical solutions, practical applications to get ourselves stronger in our emotions after you have been traumatized and just subjected to all kinds of sadistic mess. Typically, and I'm going to call it exactly what it is, it is mess. You've been traumatized. We have been subjected to sadistic mess going through this. And not just the act, but the other people's reactions afterward. Whether they affirmed you or ignored you. These things end up hurting us and further traumatizing us. Something that we do not know and that I make sure that I share with women is when people say things to you like it's all in your mind, that's true, but they never quantify it. Nor do they qualify it. They try to dismiss it as mental health. Sure, but there is a real physical impact on your brain and you can retrain it. You can fix and heal that. There are ways to restore it and I'm going to be working with you on those practical solutions as well as the spiritual solutions for that. We will be doing ritual together. What is ritual? You get up every day and you wash your body you lotion your skin. You might fragrance yourself. Of course, you clothe yourself. That is your ritual in the morning. You brush your teeth every day. That's a ritual. You make sure you have something to eat. Sometimes you might have your morning coffee or your tea. That is a ritual. So now we're going to put into practice something that's going to take us from how we've been living, where we're stuck in the cycle, in the bad memory, and our emotions are all out of control. Anytime the topic comes up, it's a hot button and it sends you into a spiral and you want to get mastery over that. You do not want anybody to have that kind of power over you. You are not a victim. You're victorious and you are seeking to be the conqueror. The conqueror of this nasty thing that is eating away at you inside. And I am here to help you do it. The sign up details are below. This session is a class, this is different, this is a group session where we'll be coming together as a group and that's good, it's going to give you some support as well. I welcome you to sign up. Sister, invest in yourself, you are so worth it. You are going to have to do this work to overcome rape. We're going to have to do this work to get past the rape politics and the apologists. We're going to talk about all of that in this class and the impact that it has on us and what we can do, because you can't make these people stop doing what they do, but you can heal yourself, restore yourself, get stronger in your emotions, so that it no longer sends you into a spiral. You work hard to get yourself whole, and you deserve to stay there. Thank you for listening. Ashe, Selah, Swaha.